that's good to hear. <laughs> this brown stuff along here is sage. The little army cacti are choya. There's some teddy bear choya. There's, there's about three different types of choya out here. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Right, not yet. I got my get you far away. Get a bit of. Well, you know, just jump over. Now you don't do anything spectacular like that. Yeah, you can narrate. Just to drive today. Today is Tuesday. 
I don't think it's going to, I think it's going to come out in. Because he doesn't pick up your sound from way back there. Can you? We just got here. And we found it breathtaking. Really? I think you're just saying that. We saw an IMAX film, which was an experience. Very good. Tune in tomorrow. We'll see what We'll happens. be back okay. with more <laughs> for our interested audience. <laughs> what are we talking today? Okay, now you can finish the Pepsi Colas, putting motor cars on top, taking stupid photographs of the films. smiling, huh? You got a long walk? Thank you. 
Did she think you when she went on vacation? No, she's part Indian. How was it? Huh? I, I do whatever you want. I say no. The hell is that what you said? Yeah, please don't let me repeat. It's going to come out on this film, man. Telephoto now, zoom on. That's the river you see down there. And I'm um, afraid to get away. Up over here, so I don't got a screen. Um, as I said, from where we're standing to the river on a straight line as the buzzard flies, it's about seven miles. Um, the distant horizon out there, as far as you can see, out into the distance, that's about 135 miles. Um, from where we're standing, straight across to the north rim right here, it's about 12 miles over to the other side. Um, as I said, the river is about 400 feet across here, and it's moving about 180,000 tons of dirt past that point in the next 24 hours. About 400 feet.
shooting. Thank you. 
Okay. Okay, here we are at Price Point. We're going to pull over here. Dan's going to... No food here. Oh my heaven, he's got a door around it. It's down there to the right down below. No, I'm taking the, the whole troop going up the hill. Go right ahead. Thank you very much for your no, down at any time unless you want to walk down in there. Yeah. We, we are definitely low. Greg.
All right, what we have here, starting from left to right, over there on the left is what is called Cable Mountain. They used to uh, cut timber up on the top of the plateau because there wasn't a lot down here, and the only way that they could get it down was in was by cable. Oh, just uh, yeah. Lower. Uh, that was towards the end of the last century, beginning of this century. And uh, believe it or not, they had a lot of daredevils. They enjoyed riding up, uh, riding down on the cable from that mountain down here to this one. And they would drop the logs into the river, and they would then uh, go on down the river to the mills. Uh, the next one, the white one, is called the Great White Throne. The one here straight ahead of us, the brown one, is called Oregon Rock. And then the one over to the right that has what we call a saddle. It starts up high on the left and then goes down and then back up again on the right. The, the, the reddish brown one there is Angel's Landing. That's the one in Canyon. How far apart would those two be? How far apart would those two be? From, from, let's say from the saddle, from the lowest part of the saddle to uh, over here. On the wall. On the wall. On the, on the red. On the red. On the red. About halfway up. There's two white spots. I see a speck. You see? Yeah. I see a speck. There are two of them. Two of them. Two of them. Two of them. Yeah. One, now two them. I do see. Yeah, one's They're just about to get you. No. Remember Moroni, the angel that appeared to Joseph Smith? Moroni is the last chapter in the Book of Mormon. He was the son of Mormon, so they named that after him. If you want to go up, uh, climb a switchback, take some photographs, you got time to do that.
guard over the entry to the canyon, and in just a couple miles here, we'll be out of the canyon. Also off to the left is the only campground where you can spend overnights here in the canyon. There's no overnight camping allowed further up into the canyon. They want to protect as much as they can. This is Brigham Young's home. It's a little shack, yard, and this is their home right over here. By blocks, I always count it by dollars. <laughs> now, the strip is probably about, well, the south end of the strip now is actually uh, Excalibur's. I yeah, that's the Virgin River uh, next to us. That's the same river that we were uh, sleeping next to last night in the Canyon. 